Welcome to the July issue of the Emma Heaven magazine and welcome to this month's LWA. Joining me on tonight's panel are Christy Heaven. Hello. And Louise Ella. Hiya. And me, Emma Heaven. Well, tonight's topic is all about um, well, it's based on the inspiration for this month's photo shoot. So, you know, my bonkers brain works. I see something or remember something and it creates an idea. And I was thinking of films that I really loved during my childhood. And one of my favourite ones was mm. The Labyrinth featuring David Bowie and all the puppets. It was a musical fantasy and you had uh, loads of lovely songs. So in this month's photo shoot, I get turned into the door knocker from Labyrinth and it's it's wow. absolutely fabulous. We've already filmed it. I've seen that started editing the photos and it is wow. So that was the inspiration. And then that got me thinking then, what was everybody else's favourite films from their childhood? So we know we're going to have some Disney ones in there. Let's hope there's some surprises. So first of all, Christy Heaven, what is your, well, probably one of your favourite films from your childhood? So I don't actually have a Disney film on my list. (gasps) Shock horror. Oh my gosh. What I did was I picked my childhood films that I I know when it's my favourite film when I can recite the whole film word by word. (laughs) And the first one that came to my mind was actually Shrek. Shrek is actually one of my all-time favourite films because I can quote it from beginning to end. I still laugh at it now. And I think it actually got better with age. I watched it when I was little and enjoyed it, but I love it even more now because it's it's stood the test of time. And I just absolutely adore Shrek. It's actually 20 years old. And I'm wow. like, what, 20 years old? So, uh, yeah. It does seem like only yesterday, to be fair. It does, does it? Yeah, I'm quite shocked with yeah. that. Okay, so we have Shrek, Labyrinth, Go For It, Louise. Well, I tried to think of my childhood and then I was like, I can't remember it. It's so long ago. <laughs> but things like The Goonies. Oh, I remember The Goonies. Oh, yes. Now, The Truffle Shuffle. Yes. And The Pirate Ship and all the gold. And, oh, do you know, I think that's magical. Yeah. You know? Yeah. yeah. And I could watch that again Over, and again. Yeah, and I still yeah. would find it funny. And it's still and funny TV. today. Again, it's it another is, one yeah. that has stood the yeah. test of time. Yeah. Yeah. Speaking of pirates, my one of my favourite films, and it is a Disney one, and it's my fav, favourite of all the Disney films, is Peter Pan. Because like you said, it's magical. You've got pirates, you've got Tinkerbell the fairy, you've got Captain Hook the villain, Neverland, and oh, kids. Is that flying. the one with Robin Williams in it? No, the oh, original that cartoon. Really uh, that was Hook, and I love that as well. But I mean, the original yeah. cartoon, Peter Pan, you know, with Nana and they're flying over Disney. And it's and it's my favourite ride in Disneyland Paris as well, because you get in a little pirate ship and it flies you over London and then through the stars to Neverland. And oh, it does magic, isn't it? So. Yeah, so that's my yeah, favourite yeah. uh, Disney animation. Coming back to you, Christy, give us another one. Okay, so Chicken Run. <laughs> I absolutely adore Chicken Run because I the 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 characters. Um, it was the first kind of clay animation that I saw because. Um, Wallace and Gromit was a bit earlier so Chicken Run was like the first kind of thing that I saw of that time it is funny it's British (laughs) and like it came on the TV the other day and I was like you know what I love this film and I actually saw it in the cinema um, when I was little as well so I think that's why it has a special place for me as well because it was one of one of the first films I saw in the cinema. Yeah, this, yeah, the ones you see in the cinema. I've I've got a couple. I wrote them down, and these are ones that really made an impact that I saw in the cinema. The first one is Greece, because oh, I remember oh 
queue, the queues round the block for the old castle cinema in Swansea. And my neighbour took me and my um, older sister and our friend. And I just remember everyone in school singing the songs. And it, it, it was just huge, wasn't it? So Greece um, was a big one. And then my father was a huge cinema fan. And I remember him taking us to see Star Wars Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi, but also 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea and Batteries Not Included, oh. which is a, a, a lesser known Disney film, but oh. it's really, really, oh, I don't know, it's quite, oh, it's very lovely, isn't it? Batteries Not Included. So, and then the Peace and Resistance, I remember again with my dad queuing for Sinbad. Um, and the eye of the tiger and I still if it, if I see it on Sky Movies or the TV now I still have to watch it so yeah. so those are some yeah some lovely memories as sort of going to the cinema so coming to you Louise what do you remember from the cinema well not so much the cinema then I don't think <laughs> um the film Weird Science yes do you I remember, remember that? that yes I do now, if that comes on, I've got to sit and watch that because I think that's <laughs> absolutely hilarious. <laughs> and when he turns him into this big turd, I'm buckled because <laughs> I've got a really sick sense of humour. <laughs> um, yeah, I do like I do like things like that, you know. But I also remember, you know, it's not so much films; it's series, isn't it? Like Neighbours yeah. and yeah, yeah, lots of the Australian yeah. things. You know, that's yes, it was quite big in the day, was Neighbours. You know, yeah. you know, yeah. heart, heart to heart. Do you remember heart that? To heart. Oh, that's one of Wendy's oh. favourites. That <laughs> yeah. Oh. yeah. Okay, coming back to Christy. What are the films? Uh, Matilda. Oh. Um, Matilda is just one of those films that I put on if I'm feeling kind of down and like it's one of those ones that I would watch like practically every week as a kid because who didn't want to be Matilda you know and that when she would make the pancakes it's... and when she would like click her fingers and the room went into yeah. magic and Miss Trunchbull like yeah. you can't get more iconic than Miss Trunchbull, Trunchbull. and Miss Honey and the like, chokey <laughs> and the chokey and when like you know she's running around the room like the house yeah. chasing after and the box of chocolates yeah. like there's so many iconic moments from Matilda yeah, that just like it's, encapsulate my childhood. It's a feel good but, film, isn't it? it one, is. I have got one other where uh, um, um, it's sort of sad and good. I love the film with the kids, Happy Feet. <laughs> Happy Feet <laughs> is absolutely brilliant. <laughs> I loved it. I cried. Happy, happy, sad, right? And all yeah. this. Loved it until. I watched a documentary on um, penguins and when the lady penguin, female penguin, gives birth, he has to give the egg to the husband or whoever did it. And <laughs> he has to look after it and she has to go back out to hunt. And then if he drops it, the penguin dies. I have not been able to watch Happy Aww. Feet since. And if I see a penguin, I actually tear up. Oh, bless you. Oh. Yeah. Well, a few more on my list were um, classic uh, family children films that were always on Christmas time, like The Wizard oh. of Oz, The Muppet Movie. And I'm going to mention one now, and I know Christy's just going to go, oh, because her sister is terrified of E.T. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shannon is awesome. He was on my list and all. Yeah, yeah. I loved it and I cannot understand, Christy, why she is so scared of E.T. To be honest, I don't like E.T. either. (gasps) There's just something about it that's just creepy and sad and like (laughs) it's a long film as well. And like Mm. I just I don't know why I I never connected with E.T. either. No, I know, but he was born that shape and pity man. Like having an ugly baby in there, you know. Oh, yeah. Him now. Oh, I thought he was cute. I can't understand yeah, you not know. liking E.T. But when he had when he had props in the um camouflaged on the teddies, perhaps that scared you, did it? Mm. 
You never know. As a child, it might have. Yeah. Now, I can understand when we were young, Louise, everybody was terrified of the film Jaws. And I mean, people wouldn't go in the sea. Jaws is on my list, too. Jaws is on my list, yeah. Yeah, now that's proper fear and terror, Christy. It is. It is. (laughs) Not a a mythical alien, a real-life killer shark. There's another one, Aliens. Do you remember the first alien? Oh, yeah, but but that's really not for children. And You know, come on now, Louise. That's terrifying for adults. <laughs> yeah, I suppose. <laughs> that was the day I went out, but they must have watched it on their own. Yes. Then get caught. Oh, Christy, have we got any more? I do have another one. Uh, yeah. School of Rock oh. uh, with Jack Black. Yes. Um, another one, which I know all the words to the songs <laughs> because, like, I would, I wanted to be in School of Rock. I wanted to be yeah. with Jack Black and and be in that school because it was so cool. Yeah. And I just remember that everyone was talking about it in school. Like everyone loved it, and it's just another one of those films that I. I can quote off the top of my head, like, I love it. Mr. Oh, Schneeble, like, Mr. Schneeble. <laughs> <I just> love <laughs> it. <laughs> Louise, have you got any more on that list? Annie. Uh, Anna, oh, yeah, yeah. Go for it. Yeah, well, you could We're tell so similar. Same same really similar. similar. Yeah, on Annie. my bingo book. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Annie. Yeah. Annie. You know? Yes. Thanks. Yeah, I love a good musical. And Bugsy Malone as well. Can you remember Bugsy oh, yeah, Malone? Yeah, all of them. And I've got one I really loved, and it was one of my mum's favourites as well. And I managed to get hold of a DVD of it, HR Puffin Stuff. Can you remember that? Not a lot of people can. No. With, with Freddie the Flute. No, see, this, no. this, this is very... But I Which actually, gin was you drinking that night? <laughs> could have been the strawberry or the lemon, I don't know. Mm, don't know. <laughs> so many gins, so little time. <laughs> <laughs> and I think I've almost exhausted my list. I've only got two more. And one of them's Dark Crystal, which again was made by the same people as Labyrinth, which is all the, the um, Jim Henson puppets, wasn't it? And it's just been remade, is it, for Netflix? They've got a series... Yeah, and my last one was Never Ending Story. Story, oh, oh, don't you just love oh, that? Never oh, Ending story. story, yes, yeah. It was Wendy, was you? She'd sing us first, yes, she'd, she'd love that one. I she? will say, um, the I as a kid, I was terrified of the wolf. Oh. And we would always get to the part where he would jump out at a treu, and that's when we would turn the film off. Otherwise, I would be in hysterics because that wolf just scared the living daylights out of me. Oh. And we would always skip when our text, the horse, died. Was sadly lost yeah. to the to the quicksand. Yeah. We would have to go past that one as well because I couldn't handle yeah. that. Yeah. Oh, everyone says Dougal looks like Falco the dog. Oh, yeah. Because <laughs> he's all white and fluffy. But yeah, that was a lovely, lovely film, wasn't it? And, and, and again, you know, you look at some of those old fantasy type films, they, they're still relevant and still as good today. Yeah, I think so. So, yeah. Have we got any more before we finish up? Well, apart from the A-team, because I really <laughs> like the A-team. <laughs> the A-team. Tell you what... Um, what it was a childhood film, but perhaps shouldn't have been, was Austin Powers Gold Member. Um, yeah. I should probably not have watched that as young as I was, but it was it was a family favorite. Everyone yeah. loved Austin Powers Gold Member, and yeah. I was so obsessed with Beyonce in the film <laughs> that I remember I was in primary school, and that was like my I said for nickname. Oh, that, and everyone was like, why is Christy called Foxy Cleopatra? Like, that was like... <laughs> bit of a long name. Bit of a long name. Yeah. Did you sit there with a smoke and a pancake? A smoke and a pancake. <laughs> I like gold. Oh. Like, it's just so much... Like, Austin Powers gold member. I don't know yeah. what it is about it, but... Um, yeah, that was so funny to me when I was a kid. Oh, so <laughs> many amazing memories, as I said, from a childhood film. So, uh... All inspired by my mad door knocker photo shoot. Wait till you see it. It's glorious. And I think on that Tell note, me. we're going to end. So can you please say goodbye to everybody, Christy Heaven? Bye. Say goodbye, Louise Ella. 
Bye, everyone. And bye from me, Emma Heaven, and we'll see you all next month.